Hey, and welcome back. We're gonna jump right into the do's and don'ts of user flows. So user flows show the purpose of what you're trying to create. And really, we shouldn't be vague at all. So this title tells me absolutely nothing. Vague user flows and names really hide the potential complexity and doesn't communicate enough information back to the viewer. Remember, we have to be a little more detailed when we think about these. I do not know what is happening here. All I know is that there's some sort of vague flow and it's going in different directions. Maybe this could be broken out. I don't know what profile means. Maybe the user's trying to get to their profile. Maybe the user is on their profile or maybe the user is signing up. I, I'm not sure. What you should do is use descriptive names. Maybe it's add user payment details. Organize them maybe into separate flows. Is the user trying to get to their profile to edit their profile picture? That's a separate flow. And by naming your flows, you're really able to design from the user's perspective and you can split goals based off of what they're trying to do. So remember, you can create separate flows. Don't be afraid to make as many as you want. It really helps us break down all the different requirements we need and all the different scenarios that may pop up. Your flows should always go in one direction. I mean, there's really no excuse to do something like this. I mentioned it before about sprawling like flow charts or sitemaps, but these are confusing and they don't really do a good job of actually indicating some sort of user flow. They may tell me all the different possibilities that the user may encounter while they're in our product or website or whatever we're building. But to take a look at that, that's incredibly overwhelming. So these work as a good sitemap or to show the way the navigation works in your product, but don't use it for a user flow. What we should do is the following. Split them up into distinct flows and categorize them. So if we zoom out just a bit, we have like three different flows broken into here, broken into one or put together as one. And over here, what we've done is even though there's like a decision tree in one of our flows, we've actually just broken them out separately. We'll name them, we'll do, write descriptions for each task, and they'll have an end goal. So remember, keep it simple, break it out. It's okay to be a little redundant, but it's gonna help you in the end. And the last don't, your flows should represent a complete task. Don't do this. You're missing a bunch of details here. There's a bunch of useless information, like click button at bottom. I'm not sure what button means. Fill out fields, like what fields? And I mean, there's just nothing left at the end. We should have some sort of description of what that end goal is. We need to know the details the user needs to take to complete a task and the actions. This is what you should probably be doing. Add the right amount of detail outlining each step and goal. This way anyone can read and understand your flow. So I know that this flow is purchasing a product instantly. And that can mean a lot of things, but we can break that up into several flows. So I can review a product detail. I can review a product's details and use the buy now button. And that pushes me into the next step. I am reviewing shipping and payment information. And we can even add to this. Review shipping and payment information. Confirm details and make purchase. Let's just open this frame up just a little bit more. Great. And the last step is that purchase has been confirmed, you get an order confirmation and you receive some sort of success message. So remember, add the right amount of detail and outline each step and goal. That way anyone could read it and understand it. We don't want people looking at those confusing sitemaps with not enough information outlining each step or each scenario. And um, we don't want people to be confused. So follow these do's and don'ts and you'll be ready to create your very own user flows.